Today was a great day in the stock market after yesterday's decline. All major stock market indexes were up over 1% and the NASDAQ was up over 2%. This was the NASDAQ's 10th uh, positive uh, session in the last 11 uh, days. And this was the NASDAQ's best performance today since May 26th. That's good news for the markets and why I think the market has momentum at, uh, until year end. I still think there'll be a little bit of a consolidation and the market will probably trade sideways for the next week ahead of next week's CPI inflation reading. But after that, I think the market will continue its upward trajectory, especially because I see oil and gas prices push, pushing inflation down. Uh, there's a few things I wanted to mention, though, that I didn't get a chance to mention in my video yesterday. First, uh, there was a Treasury auction uh, on Thursday that didn't go as well. There wasn't enough buyers and the uh, the spreads on the yields were a little bit higher than expected. Um, this uh, caused a Treasury, uh, Treasury yields to rally, um, putting pressure on the market from yesterday. And that's why the market declined yesterday, in addition to Jerome Powell's comments about, um, you know, about he wanted to have some optionality to hike again if inflation reaccelerates. But right now it seemed like he wanted to stay put, but he wants to have that optionality um, either way. You know, leaving rates on hold, I think right now will probably do that job for him. And then we just after today's going back to today for today's stock market trading session, we, we just got news that Moody's um, cut the outlook for um, for for the U.S. Uh, from stable to negative, although they're keeping the U.S.'s AAA credit rating. This is partially because interest rates are high and deficits are very high in the U.S. U.S. Uh, debt is a at $33 trillion and counting. And also we have a lot of uh, um, political uh, dysfunction in terms of how divided um, the government is. And we, all, we had that debt ceiling standoff earlier in the year um, which um, S&P actually downgraded U.S.'s debt because of that. Although we passed a resolution back then, um, there are still some problems in terms of interest rate expenses, the second highest uh, pretty much line item in the budget because interest rates being this high right now. We had Stanley Druckenmiller uh, earlier in November saying that we're spending money like drunken sailors. Ken Griffin from Citadel Securities pretty much said the same thing, um, especially with the high interest rates right now. We have to be careful in how we spend money in the government. And uh, Stanley Druckenmiller also said back in earlier November that we should have probably refinanced our debt in 2021 when interest rates were lower. And he thought that was a mistake that the uh, government made by not doing that because mortgage holders and uh, most U.S. citizens who had houses that were mortgage holders refinanced their mortgages to take advantage of lower interest rates. And he thought the U.S. government should do the same. So he has a point there. And that's probably why Moody's uh, cut the outlook on, uh, on the U.S. from um, stable to negative. It's good, though, that it was still a uh, AAA. So um, but besides that, I made a uh, note in my video yesterday about Ethereum about BlackRock uh, applying, possibly applying for a spot Ethereum ETF. And there's more evidence that that really is the case. And um, the crypto markets are continuing to do very well. Um, but as I said, I think next week, there'll be a little bit of a consolidation uh, trading pattern and the market will probably uh, trade sideways until we have the next economic catalyst which will be the uh, CPI inflation reading, because this week, honestly, was all Fed speak and then the uh, bad Treasury auction from Thursday. And I think next week will be a little bit more about economic data again.